Hi everyone, Janie here, and I'm excited to show you some tags, bags, boxes, cards, and even a letter from the desk of Santa Claus, all made with the Santa's Workshop Passport Kit from TaylorMade Cards for You. And I think you are going to love these, so let's head on over and take a look. So for the projects I'm making today, I'm using the Santa's Workshop Passport Kit from TaylorMade Cards for You and it is a digital kit and I will leave a link below where you can find it and I've printed out all four pages that come with it so there are papers that come in this size or this size which is perfect for card toppers and there is this which has just the cutest things on it but I wanted to point out a wish list for Santa that your kids could write their wish list on to send to Santa and look at this this is from the desk of Santa Claus and he can write back to the kids is that awesome or what and this one has some tags and other cutouts that you can use and I am pretty much going to be using all of these things so I'm going to go cut all of this out and then I'm going to show you all of the things that I'm making with them. I'm going to start off by showing you the two cards that I made and they are a two size so they're four and a fourth by five and a half and as you saw one of the sheets that come in this kit has four card toppers on it or at least I'm calling them card toppers because they are the perfect size for the front of a card and I used one of them on this card and layered it on a piece of green cardstock and then I also used one of the cutouts that were on one of the other pages and layered that on a piece of green cardstock and put it on this card and isn't this just adorable I just think this is so cute and then I added a bow and a little jingle bell and that finished off one card and here's the other card it used one of the other card toppers and again this is one of the cutouts and it has a nice little story on there that is just perfect for Christmas and I layered the card topper and the cutout on some red cardstock and added a little red bow and some little red dots right down here and I think that they both came out absolutely perfect and the pieces just all come together you know for making cards or whatever so you could pick different pieces to put together you could put different cutouts on these you can decorate them any way you want okay so that is only two of the card toppers so what did I do with the other two well one of the things that I did was I made this little gift bag and the card toppers you can cut in half and there is enough to either do two bags, just the front, or you can do front and back of a bag. And I have a tutorial below on this cute little gift bag because it is the perfect size to hold a gift card or a piece of jewelry or any small gift. They're really cute. So there will be a link below on how to make the little gift bag. So I used one of the card toppers for this and I used another card topper to make the lid of this box. Now, this box and actually this box are going to be in another video that's coming out tomorrow. And of course, if you're watching this, you know, anytime after today, the video will be available. So I'm gonna have a link to that in the description box because I'm gonna show you how to make gift boxes in pretty much any size that you want but I used one of the card toppers to make the lid for this box and then of course you can put a little bow on the top of it and that would be perfect and let's see what else do we have this was made out of another piece that was on another page because let me see if I can grab it there was a page that had two of these which are either for bigger cards or you can use them for something else so there was one with this design and there was one with that design 
And I haven't even used this one yet. So you're going to be able to make more things than I am showing you in this video. But I not only made this gift box, but I also made this gift box, which you will also see in the video that I will have linked below. And this was on another one of the pages of this kit. And I just thought it was so perfect. This would be a great topper for a gift box if it's going to be a present from Santa Claus. Wouldn't that be awesome? It is so cute. It says Santa's Workshop on it. And it doesn't have to be um, a flat box like this because this one I made for a plaque. You can make a taller box or if you have a taller box or whatever and put it on there, but it is great to top off a gift box. And talking about gifts from Santa, this comes with a kit and it is my wish list for Santa. It is absolutely adorable. Check that out. Little boxes down here where you can check that you know you were good or not. Have your list right here. And I put this on a piece of green cardstock and you know, you can have your little one fill this out and send it off to Santa. And then guess what? This also comes with it, but without this writing on it, it just comes with the, you know, from the desk of Santa Claus, which is so perfect because I did this on the computer. You can handwrite it, but it is really easy to add to it. And so look at, it's, it's a letter to me from Santa Claus telling me that I have been good. But you can do something like that and then mail that to your child or grandchild. Wouldn't that just be awesome? And this stuff comes in this kit. And this is the size that it comes in. So, you know, I printed everything off just as is. I didn't change anything. So these are just awesome. I guess part, partly maybe my favorite things in this kit. Okay, now for the tags. Let me bring this over. This tag, here we go, this tag comes in it. You just cut it out and there was a place for a hole there. I just punched the hole with my hole punch and tied a ribbon. Um, this would be really great. Decorate it up a little bit more if you want, but it makes a cute little tag. And actually there are several in here that can be used for tags. Let these give you a close up of them. They are just adorable and beautiful. So many things you can use. Aren't they awesome? I mean, it's just so many things right here for tags. So what do we have here? Like I said, we've got tags. We have bags. We have boxes. Put a bow on the top of that and make it look cute. We have boxes. And we have, hold on a second here, we have cards. We have a note to Santa and a note from Santa. And I still didn't use everything because there is still more to be used. All of this, let me see if I can get my camera up a tiny bit higher here. All of that from that one kit. And just think, you can print it out as many times as you want. Thank you all for watching today. And as you can see, the Santa's Workshop Passport Kit is perfect for making so many things. And don't forget, there's a link below in the description box where you will find the link to that kit, as well as to tailor-made cards for you, and also to my tutorials on making those little gift bags and the gift boxes. So just click where it says show more, it will drop down and you will find links to everything you need. Happy crafting everyone, bye-bye.